So check this out. There is a code that allows you to unlock everything. All the uh, superstars, the hidden superstars, all the hidden arenas, all the uh, locked movesets, finishes, and whatnot, all the remaining uh, Fantasy Warfare matches, everything. The catch is that it's only supposed to last until you turn off the game. And when you restart it again, everything's back the way it was. You know, what you haven't unlocked legitimately is locked again. And that pretty much proved to be the point with the wrestlers and the attires and the arenas and everything else. But as you can see, the Fantasy Warfare matches are still unlocked. So, I, ha I can thank Joe King for this, but he's already been punished enough by not being able to uh, connect on uh, online match. We were supposed to be playing uh, online together, play some matches, but for some reason it won't work. But I'm not allowed to let an hour of time go to waste, so I've got everything set up. Let's play some more Fantasy Warfare matches. Edge is hidden, and I assume uh, beating with him will unlock him, so let's do it. There can be no argument that size is an immediate advantage in the WWE. But throughout history, there have been legendary superstars whose superior ring intelligence and athletic skill have leveled the battlefield. These are the ring generals. They have conquered the odds using mind over muscle, skill against size. They have earned the banner of superstardom through excellence and execution. He's the best there was. He's the best there ever will be. You think you know me? The rated R superstar! Listen to the ovation! Brett the Hitman Hart and the rated R superstar Edge. Their incredible accomplishments mirror one another's greatness. It seems obvious to me that our careers are really quite similar. Co owner of the Tag Team Championship, our Continental Championship, and of course. Oh! Their undeniable success, a result of experience and resource. Representing the legendary Hart family dynasty, the hitman treated every match as if it were his last. He is resilient. He's driven. I've dedicated my whole life to become the best. Edge, the master manipulator, seizes all opportunities. He's been known to grab victory away from the jaws of certain defeat. He is the ultimate opportunist. When I see an opportunity, I seize it. Both superstars exhibit excellence in execution. Their masterful game plans have earned the respect of fellow WWE superstars and the entire WWE universe. I am the premier superstar in the WWE today. There's nobody that can stop the Hitman. These are two great ring artists. Their masterpiece will be painted on the WWE canvas. I'm more talented than you. The excellence of execution, the greatest technical wrestler. I'm faster than you. You gotta have heart, and that's exactly what you don't have. In the conflagration of excellence and execution, there can be only one winner. Is it Edge or Bret Hart? Your precision will determine the decision. Wow, when they put it like that, I guess Bret Hart and Edge are kind of similar. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this evening's event. Weighing 234 pounds. Well, he's wearing an alternate attire. I can tell that much. Canada, Rick Hitman Hart. Sure has a lot of uh, pyrotechnics. <laughs> Whoa. I think Bret Hart made off with Edge's pyrotechnics budget. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, this has every potential to be a nightmare because Bret Hart's probably going to uh, chain grapple my ass to death. <laughs> so let me see if I can beat back the, the challenge. Buster. 
Oh man, I could feel that. Oh crap, here it comes. <laughs> oh, and snap down to the mat. Wow, takes it to the stomach. Moved his attention to the midsection. Look at him go. Very smart. Tricky working in the same area of the body repeated. It's a sure you in it. your opponent. You can just sense his desire to win. Damn it now. No, no, no. Nice, Boston. Look at that smug look on his face. I'll kill you. Gains his composure and he's up. Oh shoot! <laughs> yes! Uh, nice combination. Not many guys oh, oh, hey! Oh! Yeah, dramatic, baby. He's cutting off his wind! He can't breathe! Oh, he's gonna lose his lunch on that one! Haha, <laughs> taste the own medicine. The crab from Boston. He's carving a path of destruction. Ah, crap. Forgot which one that was. <laughs> I don't have the balls to set on normal because I don't know if it affects the health bars. <laughs> and just listen to that crowd. No, no, oh! Oh god, the pile driver! Don't do it! He got me. News for his opponent. Whoa, hey, uh oh, crap, spinning wheel kick. <laughs> that was unexpected. Oh, the spear. That was nice. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. That most certainly should, could have ended up going a hell of a lot worse. <laughs> See, now I've unlocked that. Oh, hey, make them humble. I am the Iron Sheik. <laughs> that their ass, make them humble. <laughs> now, this would be next, but it's already unlocked, because, duh. Alright, uh. Oh, 25 million by knockout, alright. Now, time for this. Maybe Randy Orton or Jake Roberts. Well, I do love the DDT, so Jake Roberts it is. Snakes. Cold-blooded predators. Slithery, slimy demons always on the attack. Their very appearance strikes fear in their prey. Their movements can be slow and hypnotic, or they can strike in an instant. Reptile or WWE superstar, these cunning, calculated animals strike with a soulless determination that usually proves lethal for man or beast. Randy Orton is the Viper. Jake Roberts is the Snake. And the Snake had a companion, a gigantic python named Damien. The whole thing with me is intimidation. If I've got a man thinking about what's in this bag, then he's not thinking enough about me because you never turn your back on a snake. Toying with the fragile psyche of his foe was only the beginning. The end came in the form of a devastating attack, the dreaded DDT. DDT got up! Short ride, bad landing. Already beaten and lying prone, the worst was yet to come for his defenseless prey. Oh, we're gonna see Damien! He's gotta be 30 inches around! While pythons suffocate, then devour their victims whole, a viper lures the prey in slowly. Then out of nowhere, a sudden attack. A series of quick strikes, and it's all over. Here comes the WWE's Apex Predator. Viper is coiling, ready to strike. The Viper, Randy Orton, stalks his prey, sizing them up for a venomous demise. I think this is the beginning of the end. RKO from out of nowhere. Did you see the ferocity of that RKO? You think that you have me all figured out. Well, you're wrong. I am more dangerous than I have ever been. The Viper and the Snake, cold-blooded and cold-hearted, 
two malicious competitors. They attack viciously, without mercy, without remorse. A very cunning, a very dangerous individual. That icy stare that strikes fear into anyone he gets in the ring with. Now, these two predators engage in a showdown for the ages. Legend. The biggest man doesn't always win. No, he doesn't. The smartest man, the coldest man. Versus Legend Killer. All he is, is the next legend that I'm going to kill. A battle for survival. I've always been the snake you should worry about. You have just made the biggest mistake of your life. A dream match or more of a nightmare. It's time for you to decide who's the coldest snake in the WWE. Two snake-like beings with two awesome Weighing 249 pounds. I'm still uh, a little prone to the DDT though. The snake. Because, hey, legend has it that Jake the Snake was, in fact, the one who invented that awesome move. And his opponent, weighing 245 pounds, from St. Louis, Missouri, Randy Sporta! This Lex Luthor looking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is the arena red enough? You'd think he was Kane. Speaking of Kane, I can't wait to get to his match so I can finally unlock him. Here we go! Oh, you have reversed me. Hello? Are oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, he bridges the great strikes with that knee right there. Ah, uh, yeah! With this. I don't know how, but he fights him off. Determined release of Ziklet. Yeah, I'm probably gonna change the uh, difficulty after this match. May as well try it out. Oh, did I hit him in the nuts? He's gonna be singing soprano after that. Oh no, he just went from a baritone to a soprano. What's Jake? Is he a brawler or a grappler? What's going on? Locks onto that arm, and he's bending it like a fiend. My God! What the hell am I doing to him? He was putting in my hands. When I first saw Jake Roberts this morning, he was feeding a snake. He's got him by the throat. I'm gonna feed Randy Orton a snake. He just get out of that. Oh! Oh God! <laughs> and sends him flying from the hip. Woohoo! Use those hips, man. Wow. Oh no! <laughs> what now? Now I hit him with my specialty. Whatever it may be. Whoa! Holy crap! Oh! Big old gut buster. Brought down hard for the gut buster. And now spy buster. No wait, it's an atomic drop of some sort. <laughs> Inverted atomic drop! That made me wince! Now that was impressive. Oh, it tear his arm off. Set that up, brilliant! Somebody stop the match! Bringing the knee into action here. Up, oh, he's a grappler. Ow, ow, and ow! Okay, folks, that was no joke. Whoa! Oh, what a beautiful textbook suplex! Oh, he's one of the best for sure. Oh, what a shock! Right. <laughs> Get out of here. It's great to see how well he can use his hand. It's all part of the game. Oh, what do I got? What am I doing? Oh, shoot. Short arm clothesline. Now for the finish. It's as if he was hit by the master of the DDT. Ladies and gentlemen, you're. Oh, look at him bounce. That was amazing. The Snake Rubber. All right. They're gonna need to carry him out of here on a stretch. Look at that. Look at that porn mustache of him. That's crazy. All right, time to change the difficulty. 